this is the video review of the um can't pronounce it G three six C airsoft gun uh, spring spring um first of all to say don't get this gun seriously save up for an automatic save up for electric power gun do not get this gun Secondly to say, I like it, I like it, never never use it in games, just for shooting cans, but I like it. Um, removable solid stock, usually it does, um, there's a flip stock, but this isn't, it doesn't come with a grip. I just put off a grip on off my M4 carbine because I don't prefer grips on my guns I use. Just I like it with my accuracy on this. This this is good with a grip. It's also good when you want to do that without without the stock. If this is automatic. I'd love this. Just go like that like a fucking submachine gun. There is a safety located here. So, fire, safety. That moves on both sides when I move it. What else? To cock the gun it is extremely simple. Put up to your shoulder. See this? You pull that down. Hold it like a sniper rifle. Pull back. Pull forward. Let go. Hold your grip or the mag, or there, whatever you like, and pull trigger, you have a rail on the underneath for whatever you want, I would have a grenade launcher there, if this was automatic, rail on top for scopes, whatever you really want in there, I am not fussed, I don't have a strap on this gun, because it doesn't really deserve one, but if you do put a strap on, there is a pin there. No, sorry, what the hell? There. And a pin there. Strap it comes with is suckish. It snaps the fifth day I had it. Um what else? To release the magazine, there is no release catch button. But you that tab there, you tap in, put the mag. Once again, this came green, like my M4 carbine, and my um, Desert Eagle, but well, that came blue, so I sprayed this gun, in other words, mostly because I have lots of land that I can play on, without the police coming up to me, and balling at me. Um, this is extremely powerful, very, very powerful. Uh, it's not even, it's not meant to be, this, this is more of a sniper than a gun. It's accurate. It is just accurate and very powerful. That's all I have to say about this gun. It's comfortable. It's very comfortable. If I would prefer that, but I do put a scope that on it. Mag can hold 15, 15 uh, BBs. Now, because I am a pleb, a complete, stupid, utter, stupid, monghole, um, I managed when I was spraying it, I didn't take the gun apart. So, it was harder to take this off. And this whole front part, like from there to there, is supposed to come off. But it doesn't come off because I sprayed it and the... Spray paint I used was actually spray primer, so that's like varnish and spray paint. So it gives you a nice shine. Oh, you can't really see on this because this is um, a black varnish. It really gives it a smooth. And what it does is it dries like glue, and that this can't be done. But if it was to come off, you'd press a button there and a button there both in at the same time like um, this and then pull it off and you would end up with something that looks like goes to about here 
Okay. So they're like there, and it'd be like a submachine gun. Anything else about this gun? No, it does not use battery, so I can't go into that. 6mm BBs. All my guns have 6mm. I would not buy a gun that didn't take 6mm. Seriously, 6mm is the best. Unless P90. No, no, no. Carry on. Okay. Um, told you about the safety. Yes. When I bought the mag, it was see-through. You could see uh, mock bullets in there. And for all of those little people that have no idea what mock means, it's called, it means fake. So for that little kid that loves airsoft out there I've just spoken to, and has no idea what mock means, it means fake. So like a mock silencer, or mock bullets. On a shotgun you might have a mock tactical thing on the stock that holds the shells. Mock shells. Anyway, you know what mock means now, I'm not going to go into all that crap. My next video that we're not being on today, but should be doing tomorrow, will be simple positions of firing airsoft guns. That will probably be just like a whole video of saying where to hold your gun, how to hold your gun, how to prone, how to crouch, how to stand up, how to properly aim. Probably You probably know how to do that, but just in case. And it's also going to be, um, what was that thing? It's also going to be how, where to hold your gun, the best place. Well, wherever you feel comfortable to honest. But I'll, I will show you. I'll go through all my guns, how to hold the pistol, how to hold the G, G3, P90 when I get it, M4 carbine. Until then, farewell, people of YouTube. Goodbye.